All right, so we've got some rain in the forecast. You know, some pretty good rain fell this morning, most of it west of the city. But over the course of the next several days, we're going to have some chances where everybody's going to be getting some rain. Let's head over to the big board and let me show you what we've got over Calaveras Lake, a milky sky condition with some breaks in the clouds, but not as much as we saw yesterday. A pretty cloudy baby Friday. This Thursday afternoon's got 91 on the thermometer. Feels like 95 with a west wind light at about 7 to 8 miles per hour and the dew point up in the upper 60s. Now we'll look around town. We've got shirts at 93, Casterville though at 83, Comfort 86 with Lytle, Poteet 92, Hondo 86. So a little bit of rain cooled air out there, mainly because again, the cloud cover has been sticking around. Might get some breaks in it. Here's the rain today. It was about mid morning. This line drops in from the hill country. Did not put down a whole lot of rain in San Antonio. In fact, the average around the city and mainly Bear County and that baby blue about a quarter of an inch at best. Now out to the west, you can see closer to an inch and a half south of Kerrville. Some of these were thunderstorms. Nothing went severe, but just better bursts and healthier downpours. Northern Medina County. That's just going to be north of Hondo for a little more than an inch. So here's the stationary front still here. Still a surface trigger for some more action, mainly West Texas. Now you can see near Midland and Odessa some thunderstorms there. Nothing severe on the map, a little bit of rain in East Texas, but tomorrow's going to be relatively quiet as will be Saturday. This is a decaying front, not a really even a strong one, and we've got some moisture to work with. So here's tomorrow morning. 7 a.m. is going to be cloudy but dry with a few light showers down to the south and east closer to the coast. Once we get some heating, I think we bubble up a few little showers. We're not expecting thunderstorms, and this will be Friday afternoon. Same goes for Saturday. Early, there might be a mix of clouds and maybe a break here and there. And by the afternoon, an isolated shower or two at a 10 to 20% chance. Just not a whole lot of rain in the forecast. But moving forward, as we get into the second half of the weekend, as into Sunday, Monday time frame, high pressure slides west, and that's going to allow this area of low pressure, a big low up across the northern plains, to bring in a nice northwest flow aloft, and there will be some embedded disturbances here rolling through over the course of a few days. And that's going to mean some healthy rainfall. In fact, future models are putting it in Sunday night, but then Monday, Tuesday, even until Wednesday of next week some healthy rainfall amounts. In fact, take a look at this rainfall forecast for the next seven days between now and next Wednesday or Thursday. We're looking at four plus San Antonio, and, and that's a pretty good piece of Bear County for that kind of rainfall total. So here's the 14 day outlook with three days in the first seven being weather weather impact alert days. These are the three days where we expect wide widespread heavy rainfall to lead to some localized flooding. It'll bring down temperatures a few degrees, maybe even some upper 80s Tuesday, Wednesday. But again, the chances are running about 60%. And the chances will continue even in these final days of July, 40% through that final weekend and then heading into the last days of July, getting closer to 100 even to begin August.